Project Accounting Fixed Price Projects Acumatica Project Accounting allows you to create profit and loss statements for specific jobs and company initiatives. The Project Accounting module can also be used for advanced revenue recognition. The project module supports many different types of projects. In this video, we will demonstrate how a fixed price project can use the percentage of completion method for revenue recognition. This means that revenues are recognized when products are delivered or services are performed. The revenue recognition operates independently from billing. To demonstrate this, we'll create a project using a project template. Then we'll collect a 50% advance payment by creating an AR invoice. To simulate the progress of our project, we'll enter a timesheet and we'll view the impact on the financials as we release that timesheet. Then we'll process a change order by modifying our budget to see what the impact on the general ledger is as the project is in process. To begin, I navigate to the project screen and create a project using the revenue recognition template. In this case, I want to recognize revenue based on labor quantity. So I delete the second task and open the first one to set up my budgets. In the budget tab, my contract amount and the quantity of labor hours are important. As labor hours are consumed, a proportional amount of revenue will automatically be recognized with this type of project. After setting up my budget, I start my project by activating my task and then my project. Now I'm ready to begin work on my project. But before I do, I collect a 50% advance payment by entering an invoice on the Accounts Receivable module. On my invoice, I enter the customer, project, project task, and the amount of the down payment. In this particular case, the customer defaults to an account called Billings in Excess of Costs, which is a liability account. Therefore, when I release my invoice, I don't recognize any revenue which is consistent with the percentage of completion revenue recognition requirement. To begin work on the project, I log in as Jane Doe and enter hours against my project. In this case, I enter 20 hours, which is 20% of my total project hours. After submitting, I log out and log in as Michael Andrews. Michael Andrews has the ability to approve and release the timesheet. Releasing the timesheet causes the expenses associated with Jane Doe to flow through to the project. In this case, I will run the allocation process manually. The allocation process recognizes the appropriate amount of revenue based on the hours of completion versus the project budget. As you can see from the results, 20% of my contract amount has been recognized. Notice that the performance percentage of labor is less than 20%. This occurs because Jane Doe's actual cost is less than the cost that I entered into my budget. As my project progresses, I realize that additional labor hours will be required to complete the project. To indicate this, I open the project task and change the labor budget to reflect my revised estimate. By revising the budget quantity, I can rerun my allocation process. This updates the percentage of completion and makes the appropriate journal entries to reduce the amount of recognized revenue and increase the billings in excess of costs in the liability account. In this video, we demonstrated how project accounting provides a real-time view of project profitability and a comparison to budget. By showing a fixed price project, we showed how to be GAAP and IFRS compliant according to the percentage of completion revenue recognition method. For more information, please visit the Acumatica website. 